this is the impact of Pisces coming back here today I'm doing an updated reading on Alexis Ware um, today is Saturday March 12th I just felt the pull to do an update um, on this case she's been missing since January 30th um, I did do a little bit of searching to try to find out uh, her birth date. And I know she just had a birthday March 11th, which would have been yesterday. Um, I want to see what comes out in this reading. Um, see the cards that come out surrounding the energy of what was going on in her life. During the weeks, days leading up to her disappearance. This is for the highest, highest good of her family. Everyone watching, I pray for protection for my spirit guides, archangels. I ask to connect with the spirit of Alexis Ware. Any clear and accurate messages regarding her disappearance? Spirit, can you show us in the cards? Energy surrounding why she's missing. What was going on in her life? What's going on? What makes this world? Just wanted to come out. Okay. So we have a similar card that came out the first reading, blinded, okay? Not having clear direction in regards to a situation, uh, making a choice. Um, sometimes this can also mean that this person could literally been blindfolded, okay? Um... Just want to put that out there. Um, are not seeing the truth in a situation. Okay. Taken by surprise. We have stagnation here. I don't get a good energy with this card. You see, this is someone that's stuck or that's conflicted on what to do in a situation. Not having a way out. No movement. Um feel like this symbolized her being stuck in a situation that was a continuous cycle, okay, that she was trying to get out of. And maybe she felt um, confused on what to do or felt like she had no way out. Spiritual gifts. Now, in the first reading, I got the third eye. Listen to your intuition. I feel like this young lady, this is saying that she has spiritual gifts. And I do feel like she could have been aware of these gifts. I don't know um, if she was. I do feel like she was aware that she was getting feelings, um, the need to, to make some type of move or decision. Um, maybe she was really in a... I feel like she was working on herself because I remember the self-love card that came out in the first reading. Um, and that brings me back to, you know, maybe going within, getting in touch with yourself or seeking out some type of spiritual um, guidance. OK, but she had a knowing. Um, fellow Pisces here with her. 
we, you know, water signs are, are highly in tune or highly um, aware and has psychic abilities. And whether we know it or not, we all do, okay? But you see these synchronicity numbers? She could have really been open up, uh, opening up, coming in through a spiritual awakening. And we have this justice card. Um, this card comes out when there's legal action, court involvement. This also can mean that um, someone seeking balance in their life. Now, I do feel like this is picking up energy surrounding the situation or someone she could have been involved in, I mean involved with, that had um, some legal matters going on. This also has justice on it. And I feel like this is her energy seeking justice for what has happened to her. Like I said, I don't get a good feeling. I don't feel that she just left um, on her own free will. And I could be wrong. I'm just going by what I feel. Okay. Oh, goodness. There it is. Okay, I'm not going to pull no more. It's a lot of cards. It just... Mm. Okay. We're we going to speed this up here. Now, this card moving came out. Look at this. Walk away. This came out in the first reading, okay? Walking away from a situation. Person. Moving forward. Okay, and then you got some moving here. That's going from one place to another. Whether this person is moving to one location because they made a choice to leave or they were physically moved from one place to another. A lot of movement going on in, in this case from what it seems. I know I've seen that her car was found in McCormick and some other area. Um, away from where she's from um, and of course she wasn't located so now we have depression this depression card is coming out again I do feel like she was feeling emotional about some things like I said before I don't know if she suffered from depression it doesn't matter we all go through things. She was going through some things. And I feel like she was making a choice to to better her situation. You know, I, I, I feel like she had some type of uh, epiphany or she was thinking of making some changes. Okay. She was in tune. She was in tune. Okay. We have happiness. Dependencies, drugs, alcohol, um, doing rebellious things, engaging in activities of excess that could be harmful, okay? Um, this can be picking up on um, someone around her that could have a substance abuse problem. Um, this could be for her, to her engaging in certain activities. Um, but I feel like this is what was some issues surrounding the people around her, okay? Um, whether they were abusing, selling drugs, this, this card has multiple meanings, but, and I feel like she was exposed to some not so great behaviors from a male, okay, that's involved. I picked up two males in the first reading. And like I said, I do feel like one of the males is either, I don't know if this was her, her current boyfriend or the father of her child. I, I think is she has two fathers. Um, one of the males, I feel like is the father, boyfriend, um, whether she had a new relationship 
I, but I feel like this could be related to the boyfriend or father of the child. And I do feel like there was some pressure in regards to this, these issues here, drugs. Whether she, you know, did some business with him or either he was involved in some drug activity. Yeah, we have a lot of talking going on, gossip now. I don't, I don't know all of what's going on in this case, but this gossip card talking about people talking, a lot of people either, you know, having some type of opinion on what's going on or communication. Or maybe this is showing some her having communication with someone leading up to when she went missing. Spiritual attachment. Um, mm, did this card come? I feel like this card came out with the first reading. Um, there's definitely, to me, this is showing her so attached to someone close to her, her children, her family. Um, it's a spiritual attachment card here. I'm just gonna see if oh anything wanted to pop out. Look at this. Someone close. This is family. This is a, a could be a relationship, a loved one, a, a friend. This card came out in the first reading. I feel like this is someone close to her that knows what happened or is involved. Like I said, I picked up two male energies. I picked up a female that knows something. Um, hmm. I want to see spirit. Is there anything else? Anything else? Oh, oh, one at a time. Anything else that you want to come out? All right. Got this card before, crystals. Hmm, sometimes this card could mean that someone with spiritual gifts, maybe, I don't know if she was in with crystals or, you know, doing spiritual work, using cards. This is also like a grounding energy, okay? Sometimes this could just be showing the physical rocks, something that's related to where she could be located. But when I get this, I also feel like this earth energy. Like she could just be showing that she's grounded or placed on the earth somewhere, okay? This also could mean that the need of being protected. Um, there are crystals out here, okay? As you can see, I, I use crystals and they are crystals for protection. This black um, tourmaline I have right here that's under this picture for protection. Multiple meanings, okay. Here is a crystal right here. Um, this is something she could have been into as well. Then we got psychic attack. Hmm. This is interesting. This is getting bad vibes, nightmares. People, you know, thinking negative things towards you. And when you're a sensitive person and you're sensitive to spirit, you could feel that. You could feel that negative energy, okay? She knew. She, like I said, I, I felt fear. I felt that she was afraid of something. Um, something scared her. I want to move these cards up, okay? And I'm going to pull some cards from my Tarot Major Way deck. And I'm just going to do a quick six card pull. Future. Okay. Past, present, future.
future spirit. The ones you surround in the disappearance. Okay, and this is what we're going to do here. This is something like um, Celtic Cross, but it's a little shorter, okay? So let me move this card. This is the challenge surrounding the current situation. This is present energy, her energy, okay? We're looking at energy surrounding her um, and whatever is involved in this past. Past, present, this is the challenge, and this is the reason for the challenge. Future, energy, outcome. Okay. Let's put this on. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So let's go with this first card. We have the Six of Wands, upright position. This is a card of, this is actually a, a good energy here, fire energy. Um, this is a positive, this is like, could mean victory, being recognized for um, doing something good, for being looked to, admired. This was her present energy. And I feel like, okay, you have these people here noticing, hmm, person of value, a person of, of that you could admire. And I feel like this is how she felt. She was focused, okay? You got fire energy. That means you feeling, you feeling like a, you got a spark of like, oh, like you, you feel um, empowered to, um, to really do something for yourself. And also do something that others can admire you for. This is a card of strength, okay? Although she had this fear, I feel like this fear of being afraid of something gave her the um that drive to do something to to get herself in a better place. And I feel like people recognize that. And this is a positive thing, but not everybody is going to be happy when you're trying to change. You know, you're changing yourself for the better, or you doing something, you doing your thing, or you, you know, making accomplishments. Not everybody is, that's looking at you or maybe, hey, that's, that's cool, or, you know, that's great. Not everybody is going to be happy about that. Okay? This is our present energy. Now, this is a challenge that came along with the Six of Wands. We got the Two of Swords here. You see this moon up here? That's something hidden. And then you have this, this, this air energy, okay? Mental energy. And I feel like she, something had her feeling, feeling kind of like, torn or stuck, not knowing which decision. You got a two here. Some type of decision she was that was on her mind that had her. Now you see, look at this person blindfolded. Blinded. Not sure which way to go. Conflicted. Just like this this blinded card here. She knew she recognized the value of herself. She recognized that she needed to do something to get away from a situation. She also was conflicted, okay? Which, when you're like this, it keeps you kind of stagnant. Uh -oh. 
just like being stuck. You got the same energies here. This was the challenge. Now we're going to get to past something, you know, energy coming into this. Six of Wands. Mm. You got the Four of Wands here. This is like a marriage, a commitment, a, a, um, a relationship, something that you're committed to that you want to celebrate. This is energy coming into this, and it makes sense. You got fire energy, a lot of fire energy. Although she she's a water sign, we we have more than just we're more than just our sun sign. She was inspired. It was something like this could represent family, making a commitment, something she was committed to. Present, I mean, past energy. That energy was coming into the present. Got two positive cards here. Okay. Now, this could be a relationship. This doesn't have to be. This could be any type of commitment. Like I said, I felt like there was some type of, of appointment or business. Um, I don't know what she was working on, but I do feel like she she was a person that was that was driven and that she was creative and she was working towards building something. OK. Something was blocking her mentally. This is mental conflict. She could have been depressed about a situation. That's the same energy here. Hmm. Why is this two of swords? So conflict, reason for the conflict. Oh, we got the queen of cups. This came out before. Water energy. This could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Female energy. Very emotional. I feel like there was a lot of emotions going on. We have this fire. We have this air, which is causing conflict. She was emotional, okay? This was a very emotional situation that was going on. Whatever was going on with her was causing her emotional distress, fear, uncertainty, just being unsure, okay? Hmm. I know this card came up when I asked about physical location. Present. I mean, that's future outcome. Mm. Okay. That's a good card right here. Star card. Hopes, dreams. This is the wish card. This is also Aquarius energy. You have earth and you have one foot on earth, one in water. That's stork, new beginnings. Um, I believe this is, this is, oof. This represents her being her true self. I feel like this is confirmation of her family um, feeling hopeful that she will be found. I do feel like she will be found. I'm hoping she will be found soon. I just, I don't know when. Um, mm. I just, I feel like this is saying that she is spiritually traveling. I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but that's just what I feel with this card. This is the outcome. So we have present energy, the day surrounding, or she went missing. This was the challenge, the reason for the challenge. Past coming into the present future. This is the final outcome. Five of Pentacles. This is someone that's lacking resources, in need of help, um, feeling left out in the cold. Someone, this also, this 
Five of Pentacles could represent illness, physical illness, okay? But you see these people are walking and there's a church here. The church usually symbolizes a place of, of haven, of healing, okay? This is what she needed. She wasn't getting. She is left out. Uh, um, I'm going to do a couple clarifiers, okay? Y'all bear with me. I'm going to set this to the side. Remember, this is the challenge. This is kind of going a little deeper into the reason for the challenge. I'm going to set this to the side, and I'm going to pull some from my modern rich tarot deck. I'm still burning tarot, although I've been doing this for a few years. And I don't just read a card for what the meanings are. I just intuitively go intuitively go with what comes through. I just uh -oh. I was gonna ask why was this four of wands here? This death card just popped up. I'm going to leave that there. So, to me, this is saying this, whatever this past energy coming in that affects this present, I have commitment here. And then we have death. That means something ended in regards to this commitment. Could have been a relationship ending, a uh, business opportunity, uh, some something she was... Uh, uh, made a commitment to just having some trouble here. Swords, two of swords. Ooh. This is a reason for the challenge. On fire energy. Look at this, y'all. Okay. This five pentacles as the outcome. These three cards wanted to come out. And I'm going to keep them. Okay. So, we, we about to get to this. Hold on. Ooh, so, I explain this death card. This is a transition, a change, major change. So major change to a commitment, okay? Relationship. I know she wasn't married, but this could mean marriage. Um, buying a house. It has multiple meanings, but something with this past energy coming in, I feel like so, on the spotlight here, she was in the spotlight. She was noticed. She, 
although we have this, this commitment looked like that was changing in some type of way, she was focused on her being recognized as, hey, I'm, I'm about to do something positive with myself, okay? Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, there was some issues with money going on. Okay, this could have been her working on her business. That could have, you know, maybe she was financially strapped. I don't know, but this pentacles represent money. But you see, you could be holding on because you, you strapped for cash. Or um, this also, this earth energy is like just lack of movement or maybe she felt restricted financially and was needing some help okay she had some positive outlooks on herself but there was something that was kind of keeping her from movement we have this is the problem here with that Two of Swords, feeling blocked mentally, depressed, feeling like you, you don't know what's going on, secrets going on, okay? So, we have another air energy, Queen of Swords, and I feel like in this Three of Cups, you got water energy, which is her energy, and you got some air energy, um, Libra, Gemini, What's the other air sign? I can't even think right now. Um, what's the other air sign? Gemini, Libra. I can't think, y'all. It'll come to me. Three of Cups. Oh. Aquarius, Aquarius. So, this is some party or coming together, a celebration. So, there was conflict. And I feel like this is, this is three, this, this represents people involved in the situation. Um, and it was emotional, okay? And I feel like it was definitely conflict with some other people. And this is this Queen of Swords speaking your truth. Speaking your truth. And I feel like this is something that she was conflicted about. But I feel like she had that energy to like, hey, no, this is not what's about to happen. Even though there's there's mental confusion, she was she was willing to to set some things straight, speak her truth. It's the main reason for the problem. You see this too is coming up, a decision. She was making some life decisions here. She had desires, plans, um, business plans. Look at this. You see, she's looking off. She has her phone here. She's looking to make some positive moves. But something was going on that had her fearful, emotional, okay? This this male energy, this male involved had help too. That's why I keep picking up two. This male energy was causing some major problems in her life. You have coming together, conflict between, hey, coming together with somebody, you know, being friends, making things right, or defending, speaking your truth. Okay. We have star. We have the star car, and we have the knight of pentacles. This is the future energy, which I feel like this person at this pentacle which is an earth energy 
It's just signifying the hopes, family wishing that she is found safe, found period. She's going to be found. Someone is going to find her. Things are going to be, and unfortunately, I, 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 don't, I don't have a good feeling, but I'm going to be positive. I'm trying to, you know, about the situation. This is an earth energy. And I do get a, a, a male energy with this Knight of Pentacles. That has going to find or someone that this could be symbolizing some the person finding her or responsible. This is not an older male. It could be close to around her age, 30s, late 20s. Now, we have five of pentacles as the outcome of the situation. Being left out. Why is this five of pentacles here? Look at this. All these three came out. You got the five of cups. Major loss. Someone in mourning over a loss of something. Okay, depression. This is what this, the energy of this card means. Crying over something spilled. Even though there's something back there, you're not focused on that. Water energy. And I keep getting water. Ooh. Look at this. You see a city back here. Water. Maybe this is symbolizing where she could be located or found close to. Look at this. You got the lovers and you got justice. This is just sums it up here. Someone that she's close to that knows what happened to her and is involved. This male energy. She felt left out. Okay. It's a major loss here caused by this person close to her. And we have justice. Outcome. This is saying that who's ever involved is going to be brought to justice. Or you're already involved in legal system. Okay. Wow. All right. Um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what else to um, say about this reading. I think this just really sums up what's going on. And like I say, I only go with what I hear, what I feel, what I might see, and there's a lot going on with this. She knew she knew exactly what was going on. There's a lot of lies and manipulation going on in this case. She was planning on making some moves for herself. She was trying to walk away from the situation, y'all. Very emotional situation. Someone close to her. This person could have been uh, a person that was abusing substances. I don't know if she engaged in substances, but I feel like this is energy surrounding her. I, I do. Um, I, I picked up that some type of force, she was forced to, I don't know whether it was uh, have something to do with, and I feel like it, it was a money situation. Somebody um, was forcing her to engage in certain activities for money. And I keep picking up this, this substance abuse, or I don't know, somebody failed some things, but there was some things going on. Um, I'm going to ask a couple more questions. 
just to see what comes out in my tarot cards, okay? And I'm going to end this reading. Spirit, can you show me? What is the outcome of this situation? I'm looking for Alexis. Will she be found safe, Spirit? Okay, two cards. I asked, would Alexis be found safe? This six of wands came up again, but it was upside down. I normally don't read reversals, but I think this is significant, okay? Is this someone being recognized? I do feel like she will be found, okay? Um, but with this reverse, it's like not being recognized in a positive light, okay? And then we have the Three of Swords. I don't get a good vibe from this card. This is heartbreak, okay? Um, depression, anxiety, a loss. Third party situation. I do think it's three people involved. Could be three or four. So for me, this is a no. Um, where is Alexis located? Can you show me, Spirit? Just fell out. Where is Alexis located? Oh, goodness. So, location. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, okay? I feel like this is symbolizing someone placing her somewhere. Or maybe she's being held captive inside a, a building, a house. Just because I feel like, you know, something happened to her doesn't mean that she's not alive. But I'm just cool. I have to be honest with what I feel. She could be being held somewhere against her will. We also had this Emperor card. I asked about a location. It's definitely heavy, authoritative male energy. Hmm. Fire energy. There's water in the background. I keep getting earthly energy. This could be someone involved in holding her against her will. She could be somewhere near water. I really think she is. That comes up a lot. Is she in South Carolina? I don't, for some reason, I feel like she could be further away. She might be out of the state. I know in the last reading, I kept getting a Hamilton. I don't know what that means, but that's what I got. Um, let's see what else that might want to come up. I don't even have a question. I just, oh my goodness. This, so, this five of pentacles wanted to come out again. Judgment. Look at that. Judgment. Mm, mm, mm. I just don't get a good feeling with this card. This is her angel here calling. I feel like this is seeing that she is with the angels. Um, judgment has happened. And I feel like she was trying to make the right decision. Okay. Hierophant. I don't know. If she was in school, I feel like this represents her um, seeking out um, some type of spiritual connection, okay, guidance. Well, 
lack of help, support, or lack of utilizing your support. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna um I'm gonna end this reading. I hope that this, you know, could bring some clarity to the situation. And um pray that Alexis is found safe. I'm praying for her family for her return. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Thank you.